based upon the initial success of ivalimumab in the metastatic melanoma setting, um, it was rational to think about whether it could uh, be introduced into the population of patients who are at high risk of recurrence after surgery, the so-called post-surgical adjuvant setting. So this is a large study, over 900 patients, uh, run by the EORTC. Uh, we were major accruers here in the U.S. at Memorial Sloan Kettering, which was a randomized trial of ipilimumab versus placebo. Uh, and the trial met its primary endpoint of achieving an improvement in relapse-free survival, the hazard ratio of 0.75, uh, about a nine-month improvement um, in relapse-free survival. Now there were a significant number of side effects, but this was not unexpected based upon the known side effect profile of ipilimumab. So we have an agent that is now showing uh, clinical activity in the adjuvant setting. I think there is going to need to be a lot of discussion and further consideration of how to introduce this in the setting for a few reasons. First of all, the adjuvant setting is a very heterogeneous group of patients, some of whom only have a 30 or 40 percent risk of recurrence. Some of them have you know, a 90 percent or greater risk of recurrence. And so when you have a medicine like ipilimumab who does, that does have side effects and that does, under rare circumstances, cause treatment-related mortality, um, we need to be very thoughtful about which population of patients we offer that to. Because in this adjuvant setting, there are patients who have been cured with surgery alone. And so by introducing a medicine which carries with it risk, we, we may want to weigh very carefully what the value of that intervention is in patients who don't have any risk of recurrence. Uh, and so it's a strong call out to my community of melanoma specialists to be more precise about how we risk stratify in this, um, melan in this uh, adjuvant therapy population. Further, this study used a dose and schedule of ipilimumab that is not the same as what is currently approved for the use of metastatic melanoma. The, uh, the initial four doses uh, have uh, about a three and a third higher uh, dose than what's currently used, and this regimen in the adjuvant trial had maintenance therapy once every three months. Um, neither maintenance nor the 10 milligram per kilogram dose are part of the current label for metastatic melanoma. And so how to integrate that information into decisions of how to use this therapy in the adjuvant population is also the topic of, of ongoing discussion.